guys, welcome back to my channel, Salman Techno, and my name is Salman. And why you just I use this background? Yeah, okay. So uh, today I'm gonna show you all about programming. Yeah. So you know, guys, that programming languages. I mean, there are a lot of programming languages in our computer. So uh, today I'm gonna show you all about basic programming, such as basic HTML. CSS, C++, JavaScript, and PHP, and MySQL. And actually, there are a lot, but I'm going to teach you, I mean, not teach you, but I'm going to show you six programming languages in here. And the first episode today is about basic programming in here. And today, I create this video to be the 4.0 millennial programmer. Yo guys, it's just kind of meme just now. Oh my god, <laughs> just on the third life, but it's okay, guys. I'm just kidding just now. Okay, back to the topic. Now it's about HTML. Okay, so I'm gonna show you all about HTML, such as text and elements. But before I want to say that HTML is hypertext markup language. So HTML, there are tags also, but for the tag, is actually the function of the HTML to delimit the start and the ending of the function. For example, like head, body, and I mean, first is HTML, head, body, and so on. So the logic is same like our human bones. So from head until legs, okay? So uh, there are three main tags, HTML, head, and body. And there's also the opening and the closing tag of them, okay? Uh, if you want to know about that, let me show you how to do it. Let's go and stay tuned to this video. I mean, ah, okay. Stay tuned in my video. Don't go to anywhere. And let's go to the programming languages. Okay, guys, now we are in the sublime text. And it is the most, I mean, this is actually the application for programming. Okay. But not only sublime text, but there are also some programming languages such as Visual Studio Code and something else. Okay, so uh, what do I want to say? Okay, so I just choose Sublime Text. I mean, I use this programming application because I have installed just now. And then I'm gonna say that don't ever say that programming is actually very hard. Don't ever say. It. Don't be pessimist and be optimist. Okay. So for those who want to know all about programming. Just stay tuned in this video and just pay attention with the HTML code, okay? I mean, yeah, I wish you understand all about them, okay? Uh, back to the topic about HTML. Now I'm just wanna code all of the tags in HTML. For example, like the main tags just now, like head, I mean, first is HTML, head and body tag, also with opening and closing tag. And remember, don't forget to add the closing tag because uh, it will be very dangerous if you don't add the closing tag, okay? So the logic is same like our bones, for example, from head until uh, legs. And today I'm going to show you, okay? For example, like first, no, 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 don't go to code first, okay? So the first thing you have to do is you have to make the folder for example, I make learn coding bro. Wow, that's very, very epic. And then learn coding bro, new file, click new file in here and rename the file. So for example, I make is coding.html. I mean, that's the example of the file coding.html. After that, uh, first, I mean, what are the materials? I mean, what are the application? So we have to open the Google Chrome as the web browser, sublime text for the application for programming and also the folder, okay? Let's just back to the topic about coding.html. I mean the tags of HTMLs, okay? So there are dot type HTML in here. So first we have to, uh, Oh my God. So we have to type this, okay? Doc type HTML. And if you want to make it automatic, you can 
type like this HTML and then we enter. Here is the result. Don't type HTML, HTML, head, title, and body. Okay. So there are three main tags and also the opening tag and also closing tag too. Okay. So this is the opening tag and this is also the uh, closing tag, also with head and body. Okay. And how about the title tag? So uh, the title tag is actually uh, shown in the web browser. It means in the title of the tab, okay? For example, I'm gonna say, let's learn HTML. Okay, so with body in here, for example, I'm gonna add all of the tags in here and it is all about font sizes from H1, H6, I mean H1 until H6, also with the paragraph, for example, like this, H1. Okay, so I'm gonna explain to you about H1, H2, H3, until H6, also the paragraph, okay? So H1 is the biggest one, and H6 is the smallest one. How can we compare between H6 and paragraph? So the paragraph is actually, more bigger than H6, okay? And it is almost same like between H3 or H4, okay? Or maybe H5. But in my opinion, it's actually uh, simply like H4, okay? So H1 in here, so we're gonna copy it seven times. Okay, so this is for H2 h3 h4 h5 h6 and also the paragraph in here and then we can add the words in here for example like learning html is fun yeah, it is fun okay for h1 and then we can copy it to h2 h3 h4 until h6 also the paragraph okay let me paste it and then after that, we can paste it, okay? So if we want to know the result, let's go to the Google Chrome. Check it out. And we are now in the Google Chrome. Yes. So in the Google Chrome now, I mean, we have to uh, see the result today. And how to see the result? Reload this page and this is the result. Learning HTML is fun in seven versions. I mean, H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6, and paragraph. So for the paragraph in here, it's actually almost same like H5 just now, okay? So H6 is the smallest one like this. Oh my God, it's very small, right? You can say in here, it's very small, except if H1 is the biggest one in here. Okay, uh, there are a lot of text, not only for font size, but also for bold, italic, and underlined. Let's go back to the sublime text. Okay, uh, now I'm gonna show you about bold, italic, and underlined, okay? But first, about bold. So it's actually same like Microsoft Word, yeah? So anything about that, we can know about bold in, uh, Microsoft Word or anything else. And it means it is same, okay? So for the bold, we have to say, I mean, we have to type B only. So it's actually the text for bold, and this is the closing tag also, okay? Maybe I can copy it and then I can block, after that, paste it into all of them, okay? I'm gonna block it and then I paste, I save it and then let's go back to the Google Chrome. If we want to know the result, reload this page. Okay, this is the result. So it's one still the same like just now because it's actually the biggest one and paragraph, yeah. It will be like this H6. But before it's actually kind of times the Roman font, right? So uh, if we want to change the font, you can go to Google Fonts like this. Just type the link fonts.google.com and you can uh, choose 
What are the fonts do you like? For example, like Roboto, Open Sans, Noto Sans, Japanese. Oh my God, it's, there's the Japanese language that, yeah. I mean, Nihongo. Hi, Minasan, Kambate Gusai. Oh my God, okay, okay. Uh, back to the topic again. So there are more examples like Monster, Fast Hand, Poppins, Sons, Source. I mean, Source Sans Pro, Robot to Condense, and so on. Okay. Let's just go back to the sublim text again. And I'm going to show you all about underline and italic. How is it? I mean, how to collaborate between three types about bold, italic, and uh, underlined. Let me show you how to do it. Okay. For underlined, also the italic one. So it's actually the same, right? Like in the Microsoft Word. Yeah. And I wish the result will be same like in the Microsoft Word. Okay. Now let's just copy it and then save it. So there will be the result also. Okay. We're going to save it and let's go back to the Google Chrome again. Here's the result. Ah, okay. Learning HTML is fun with three versions. Bold, uh, I mean, three tags, bold, italic, underlined. But there are also for the font size tags such as H1 until H6, also the paragraph, okay? So there is the underline in here, italic and bold, okay? Now let's go back to the sublim text, or maybe you can also add diff, okay? But it's actually for uh, style and all of them. I mean, for example, like this. Let me make the newest one. Oh, before I want to show you about BR and HR tag. So BR is actually for separate between uh, one of them uh, with all of them. I mean, uh, BR is actually for separate. That's the key. I mean, that's the tag. BR is the how to separate, okay? So for HR, it's actually same like BR, but there's also the line in there. So we separate it with the line if it is HR. So BR is for separate with uh, the distance, okay? Uh, let me show you about BR. So uh, this is BR in here. Let me show you between H4 and H5. So the H5, H6 and paragraph will be go down, okay? Let me save it already, right? Okay, let me share the newest one. Oh my God, let me reload it. Yeah, so that's the result. And how about the HR? Let's go to Blim Text again and I'm gonna change it into HR, okay? And then I save it, new share, Google Chrome, load. Ah, so there will be the line in here. So how to separate between H1 until H6, also H5 until paragraph. Okay, after that, I wanna show you all about this. For example, like, okay, let me separate this first. Yeah. Uh, a div in here it's actually for for example yeah div tag so there will be the opening and closing tag is it will be same like in here let me show you how to do it okay learning html one and let me save it let's go to the google chrome oh it's actually same like the paragraph class. so it's for the words in here, but for the font size, I just complicated with H1 until H6, and then uh, also the paragraph in here, and also the div in here. It's actually almost same like the paragraph, yeah? But it's very, very same, okay? And now, uh, it's all about element today. So after I show you about text, now I'm gonna show you all about elements. So elements, for example, like style, but that's only in CSS, but
but there's also a lot of elements. I mean, there are also a lot of elements in HTML. So for elements, there are uh, style for CSS, okay? And then div, not div is actually the tags in here. I mean, ID, class, and so on, okay? Uh, let's just get started. Okay, now it's about, uh, let me command in here. For the command in here, that will be in the next episode, okay? So I'm gonna make in here, it is all about uh, HTML tags, and this is all about HTML elements, okay? So I'm gonna make in here, for example, P class. So class is actually the elements in here, class, uh, paragraph and then we just say it almost same like i mean same like just now okay learning html is fun okay so learning html is fun let me copy it and there's also the id in here okay and then for id in here let me put equal okay so let me save it and new share to google Chrome. So this is the result. It's actually same like just now for a paragraph. But how if we want to align the text, I mean, how to move the text to left, center, and right. So it's same like in the Microsoft Word. So it's actually same like this. I mean, align. OK, so there's also the elements in here, for example, like align, OK? Align in here. For example, align left, and then also for the second one, let me save it. And then let's go back to the Google Chrome. So this is the result after I refresh it. So it's same like just now. So it's still same align left. And how about aligned center? So it will be in the middle, okay? Uh, align center in here. And then I'm going to save it, new share, Google Chrome, reload. OK, so the position of the text is in the middle, OK? Let's go back to the sublime text. And how about if we want to uh, move the word to go to the right? I mean, the right side, OK? So it's simple. You can also align right in here and also the second, yeah. Right, uh, let me save it and let's go to the Google Chrome. Here is the result. Learning HTML is one, but the words are in the right side, okay? Yeah, that's all about HTML tags and elements. So how about you guys? Do you already understand about the explanation just now? Okay, I wish you understand, yeah, because it's actually uh, simple. And programming is the most important thing for all, for you and for our future, okay? So uh, you can also practice your skills about HTML, for example, like about uh, font size and also about elements, tags. So the conclusion about tags and elements. So there are three main tags and you have to add the opening tags and also the closing tags, also the elements, okay? so. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel, Salman Techno, and see you on the next episode. And it will be about attributes and comments. Okay? See you on the next episode. Goodbye. Run.